And every day, I practice martial arts. Watch out. That's pretty much wait, all wait, I wait, to say wait, about wait. that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Kunto video. Kunto? We, you, you mean Kunto? We, we, we didn't touch on that video. Oh, that's it right. Was that was Kunto another controversial video. video. Yeah. Have you changed your mind about that whole... <laughs> no, it's still fake. Yeah. No, no, no. That, still... That's a really funny one, right? So here's the thing. Again, controversy. I make a video debunking the Kunto form. Now, here's the thing. For people outside of the Leung Ting line. Now, I even have to say, for people outside of the... Leung Ting line outside of Europe because the Kun Ho is a made up form that only exists in European Wing Chun and even only in Western European Wing Chun and even mostly only in Germany. So here's the thing for WT Wing Chun, wow. practi for WT Wing Chun practitioners in Hong Kong, they've never heard of it. For most WT people in the States, they never heard of it. But because I went to Germany, I heard about it, right? This is as non controversial a topic as you can have within WT. Hmm. The problem with it is this. In Germany, there were certain masters, one master in particular, a, let's just call him a Seeing of mine, who had a little bit of like a cult following within his area in, uh, let's call it Southwest Germany, okay? He basically would teach some things to his students in Germany and by using, and I explained it in the video, a sin of omission, would somehow imply that these things came from Sifu Leung Teng. All right? All right. That even though Siva Langting didn't teach these things openly in seminars in Germany, and this guy most likely never had a private lesson with Siva Langting in his life, but somehow he had like the bat phone. Remember the bat phone from the 1966 yeah. uh, the Batman TV series, the red phone? Play telephone. Somehow yeah. he had the red phone to some Chinesey stuff. Okay? And he would teach amongst his students the like footwork forms and other things. And he wouldn't necessarily say that it came from Grandma Soling Tang, but he wouldn't not say that it came from Grandma Soling Tang or that it didn't come from great. It's called the sin of omission. And so what he did was uh, the wall bag. He created a sequence of training on the wall bag. All right, like chain punch using the different uh, three, you know, the three sectional yeah. wall bag, punching it in different sequences, right? Created a form, multiple sections, and then this form on the wall bag you could also do with a partner, and it also had super duper secret fightings and, and fighting and application, right? I learned this thing when I was in Germany, and I thought it was a thing until okay. I asked Sifu Leung Teng about it, and he was like, "What the hell?" Like he thought I was crazy. He's he said, never "What do you seen mean?" This. He's like, "He's like, what do you mean a form on the wall bag? The wall bag is a tool for punching. What do you mean a form?" He's like, "What do you mean a form on the wall bag?" Wow. And I'm like, oh, no, this thing. So what this German guy... You showed it to him. Yeah. So what this German guy... He looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> what this German guy did is, in a, in a way, to kind of sell things that the... You know, because in Germany, they had so many WT schools. So sometimes within their own association, they're competing with each other. Because remember I told you there were, like, there were like 17 Wing Chun schools in Berlin of just right. the EWTO. Well, if you're in a town and there's another WT guy at the other side of town, another WT guy at the other side of town, and maybe two of those guys are even your students and one of the guys you're seeing, how do you make a name for yourself? Well, you got to have some stuff the other guy doesn't have. Damn. And sometimes people make shit up, okay? Just to have something that the other guy doesn't have. And sometimes these things disappear as quickly as they were made up and sometimes they catch fire and the kunto was one of these made up things that caught fire in germany but really only in germany and maybe to some other german speaking countries all right hmm. here's the thing okay the guy who made it up needed to create a name for it so he looked in grandma song ting's book <laughs> the wing chung kun book and just picked a random term that no one really knew what it was which was kunto which was defined as boxing form which means a form like the Siunam Tao form, Cham Q form. That's what it meant by boxing form. And he said, oh, this is like a bo boxing the wall bag. You're not boxing the wall bag. Oh, wow. So he created, called it boxing form. And then he said that this thing that he created was this thing in the glossary. So he used Sifu Leung Ting's book to legitimize something he had made up. Okay? Yeah. So what I did was is I called that out. Now, here's the thing. There was, some people got upset about it. But again, like the common theme today, what people get upset about they don't watch the whole video or listen. And maybe because English isn't their first language, maybe I spoke a little too quickly, maybe I used some words that are too New York for them. Not too New York for me, though. Not too New York <laughs> for you, right? Okay. I said very clearly in the video, I have no problem with people creating wall bag forms. 
All right. Like here, you know, we have like basics on the wooden dummy, which are not the wooden dummy form, like for the beginners. Okay. Here, here's this drill, this drill. These are things that we created for the students to practice. These are drills that I created based on what I learned from Sifu Leung Teng. Uh, but I created these drills. You understand? It's a way of codifying information. Yeah. But what I don't do is say, this is a secret drill from Sifu Leung Teng. You see what I mean? And then give it some name out of a book and say, see this thing in the book? That's this thing I'm teaching you. Okay, so my problem was not that someone created because the Kunto form by itself, if you look at it, it's just a series of uh, different ways of training punches on a wall bag. There's actually nothing wrong with it. And I have no problem with people who want to practice it. Okay. All right. Or people who think that it's good or it has value. I trained the damn thing for five years. Yeah. Okay. Before Siva Leung Ting told me, no, it's not a thing. And then he showed me how to properly hit the wall bag for the first time in my life. And then once I learned how to properly hit the wall bag, I don't need this form anymore. My problem is not that people come up with things. I think that's what Wing Chun needs is more creativity. Come up with stuff. Come up yeah. with wall bag stuff. Come up with heavy bag stuff. Come up with different ways of training the dummy. Come up with different ways of training Chisa. I'm all for it. My problem with the video, and this was my only thing, is to then lie and say that this is something you secretly learned from a Chinese guy. <laughs> and then sell it as that. If you make up your own method, then just admit to it. And That's some people got do. upset and being like, no, the, the form is... Da, 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 da. It's like, I, I didn't say it's not good. Kunto is great. And if you want to train it, fine. And if you find value in it, yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Because quite frankly, I don't care what other people do in their schools. I'm only responsible for what I teach. My problem is just lying to people and saying that this came from a, a, a Chinese Sifu when it yeah. didn't. That was my issue. And people took it personally because there's a whole generation of people in Germany who grew up learning this thing yeah. and they think it's real. And then here's some guy from America with a New York accent saying, oh, no, this thing's totally fake. I mean, it's fake in that it's of Chinese origin. I don't mean that it's of no value. OK. All right. But people choose just like Huck to Lee on YouTube. They choose to misunderstand you or to think that you're trying to do something that you're not. The bullying in this case comes from these sifus who created things and sell these things. And the reason why I knew this thing went off the rails, someone sent me notes that they took. They went to a Kunto seminar in Germany years ago. A, Kun a Wing Chun Sifu taught a seminar on Kunto, a fabricated form in Wing Chun. Fine. The notes that this, this student took, he sent them to me and said, this is what this Sifu said about it. The Kunto form is one of the most important and secretive forms in Wing Chun. It is even more important than the Siunam Tao. And that's where I go and I say, that's Exploding the problem. No, but that's the problem, okay? You oh. have people who think that Sivu Leung Teng for some reason doesn't teach this or show this openly. It's super, super secret. You're lucky enough to learn it in Books de Huda, Germany, but you'll never learn it in Hong Kong, okay? And it's even more. So the problem is that the one lie that this is this form is of Chinese origin creates the other thing that this is a super secret thing that only they know creates mutations that this thing is even more important than the most fundamental form in Wing Chun. That was my problem with it. I don't care if people actually practice the Kunto form. God bless them. All right. OK, wow. that is absolutely fine. And here's the thing. Sivu Kanspek, the head of the EWTO, reposted my video because he's like, yeah, the Kunto is not a thing. The Kunto spread like a little dirty secret within the EWTO. Sifu Kanspek didn't even know about it. And then he finds out about it. He published my video on his page because it's like, yeah, this thing is fake. All right. So me saying Kunto is fake is as non-controversial as it gets. It's just that there are people that think I'm telling them that the Wing Chun they're doing is fake. No, I'm just telling you this form is not of Chinese origin. All right. You just be real. Fu. Like, but the problem is what you realize is people's identities are wrapped up in this stuff. OK, they cannot separate the information with their identity of the information for themselves. And that's the problem. And that's why. What do I learn from doing a YouTube channel? That you learned a lot. <laughs> that pe I learned a lot. But that people, if they want to misunderstand you, they're going to misunderstand you. Yeah. And there's nothing you get. No amount of reasonableness or, you know, trying to talk them down is going to change that. All right. So anyway. What?